hello and welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for joining in if you're new here please do remember to subscribe and today karibu sana because you can see we have the honor of having fruits from our dear sister madras and today we are going to be talking about how to prepare yourself as a woman for marriage you know as a woman so all the women mm -hmm. join hapa watch this episode because you're going to be talking about women specifically you say sindo tuko hapa tuji venye wanaume wako sasa mama sijui wewe suti ya grey ukienda kwa rusi yako sijui ufanye hivi sijui jitayarisha na hii na sisi hatujui but for us at least we have the honor of having mwende here so uh, we we'll start by uh, uh, with Evelyn atwambie una venye uko i'm sure uko na expectations kumoja za kukuwa married so what would you prepare aji for married una fikia ngaji una fikia ngaji na una ngaji married ikiwa aji how do you perceive marriage marriage mm -hmm. marriage. <laughs> <laughs> um marriage i perceive it as some where a place where you have to learn how to be obedient and also um very calm and also submissive hiyo kwanza ata na niliambiwa i don't know if it's true maybe mosha tatuambia there's a difference between obedient and submissive submissive ah, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. because sisi kama mimi i think i'm obedient to my mom but mm. i don't think i'm submissive to my mom it's hard to submit as a woman yeah i hear that but <laughs> i think that is what i would think mm -hmm. Marriage is all about. And so you as a person, kuna venye you you as a person uko sahih. Like your that person maybe you come home this time, you sleep until this time. You always think about those uh getting married as a place where maybe you have to be another person. You know, you have to change to be to accommodate another person in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think and I always I, I always I always tell myself it, it can actually be a good benefit when you don't always have to care about yourself like i i am not a very <laughs> i love my personal space but at times i think if i had someone when you and i understand i also love my personal space and i also love them to be in that space i think i would accommodate and i always look forward to your time any how i would accommodate somebody else to feel the happiness i feel when i'm just mm. nikiwani me chill okay let's talk about this this other person obviously uki kukubali huu msee like tukienda kwa aisle tuseme oh nimekukubali and everything and i vow to love you and then this other person anakuja na watu wao and maybe watu wao but they i heard of a woman who said like kwa kina the, the guy for them kubaba yake happened it was us so every time i kenda no day mama lelewa nairobi like yeah i just wanna wish you na baba yake ama anything so ili bidi ye abadilike venye ye uva so she had to go every time anaenda huko lazima ufanye something have you thought about you know accommodating other people not only the the husband that you're going to get married to but now accommodating what when you are connected na ye what are we going to about your issue is it hard or do you think what do you think any personalist i have never thought accommodating somebody else is bad apart from him but then again everything has a limit mm -hmm. i think come up and it and i'm going for three one week i don't think that is a problem mm -hmm. i would just wear a dress mm -hmm. or a skirt but then again if i'm a kuja for like one year ah that one is changing my whole world <laughs> that is expensive mm -hmm. fast so it all nikienda kwake yes heshima lazima kwa wazazi the same way would when mama wangu anaweza sema bwana kwa kija na expect pia akuwe accommodative to her i would also extend that but then again not to the extreme inafika mahali that is that is it you change any i don't want to change so much because i think when you change so much then kenya kenya ilikuwa anapenda kwa kwa pia ume atapoteza umepoteza na people the people who prepare themselves by you know starting to read books from about marriage starting to ask like starting to watch such videos that we're doing today or from youtube about marriage the people who listen to preachings about marriage so have you ever sort of you know mshai fanya kitu kai yomba wewe uko like mimi ndaenda na experiences zangu nyenda pata sitaki vitabu mtu mwingine ni nini what do you think i think i do borrow a lot of things from 
not only what my friends tell me but visually what you see like from? If, from what i see i tend to i tend to look at people's marriages and i am amazed but then again i, I look at others and i'm also like hmm Mm. Maybe ni ende uko ni care for three weeks. <laughs> 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 ni jue, ni jue yeah. what is happening. Mm. But I do. I, I do. I don't read books. Mm. Mm. I find mm. books are very frictional mm. than what you see. So I don't read books. Maybe I listen to people's perspectives. And with those people that I not only I know, but people have seen. I have been marriage for more than forty years plus. I think. Net. But from experience, I look at people like Akina Moesh mm. and the husband. So that one in a quality like easier for a person that I know that mm. is visually. And you can mm. see what they are doing yeah, but and how a, their lives are mm, going. But yeah. from a person when you see Dui, I look at, I tend to be more nini on how long have they been married, how, how long has that worked out for them. Mm-hmm. So then I look at that. Mm. Only videos, maybe which are keeping like a story mm. something like that so, <laughs> so but see ni tuko kitab hey kitab mm. it's so frictional for me <laughs> and also there is this issue uh, to ongele, you know this is we, we are talking about expectations versus reality so hapa mm-hmm. ndio kuna ile mambo atatuambia mm-hmm. but i think uh, unangalenga so others you know start preparing financially mm-hmm. when you are prepare financially you know mentally kufikiria sasa uta accommodate mwingine and you know kukuchukua mse mwingine hata kama si watu wao watakuja there are kids that can come in the process mm. so about could prepare you know there is a lot but i don't think preparation is enough but at least we, we are going to be to to kusikiza kutoka kwa mwesh maybe to change dress code na fao ingia ukiwa wife wote kwa to short ama was was jiri uh mwesh sasa kwa kutambie how should sa a woman mm-hmm. prepare uh for marriage should they change the dress code should they you know prepare financially mentally mm-hmm. and uh, also if you have questions for that too much um so i think uh, what i can say mm-hmm. is that uh, the first preparation needs to begin with your psychology you get prepared here that you are going to start a new life life here yeah, girls day out girls night out you know like when i out of you have a husband <laughs> so you need like to prepare yourself psychologically i'm beginning a new phase of life and it is a phase that is having different responsibilities different uh, expectations a uh, different audience so you need to prepare yourself then the other thing that you need to prepare for is that you need to prepare yourself for a change because of course a change is going to take place uh the bible says a man shall leave the mother and the father mm-hmm. and the same case will happen to the woman to the woman and uh, just to be a little bit um precise or to try to understand this the issue about living mm. is a separation mm. and uh, if you are you really know that you want to get married you need to get to that point whereby you are ready to separate mm. and when we talk about separating it comes with so many perspectives like i'm talking about their friends you separate with mm. there are things you part ways with company the way you have been doing things even the way you have been talking like uh, the way i am addressing you guys you know we are like in a girl's talk mm. is not the same way i'll address this other person mm. who is coming in then as a woman you need to prepare yourself to be submissive because the minute you submit the minute you respect your man the minute you uh, you like what should i put it the minute you boost the ego of your man and then your marriage will work one thing is that men will like people who boost their esteem who make them to feel the man in them mm. how will you do that it is by submitting like in case of a difference of course you're not be listening in the same school of thought mm-hmm. you have different ideologies you have different reasoning you don't have to agree 
and it's okay. But now, as a woman, you're not supposed to be there to defend your opinion forever. Sometimes you submit not because you had the wrong opinion, but because the man that is in your life, the husband, needs to be respected. What you do in such a case, you just submit at that time or you agree with their opinion. Then look for another different time. Try to sell your idea to this guy. But uh, there are some things that men will never do, like giving in to a woman every now and then. Mm. You know, like, uh, what, how should I put it? Like, every time, eh, ni sawa, ni wewe, uko sawa. Tujenge, eh, tujenge, nvuli, sema last time, tujenge, tujenge. You know, the nature of a man, a man is created with authority, mm. and you need to respect the authority, and you need to feel that authority. Mm. So, I see that you need to prepare yourself for that. Then the other thing about uh, reading books, uh, maybe... Uh, watching some videos I'll say that they are good for information mm. but don't compare your marriage to what you saw mm. to what you learned because every marriage is unique what works here will not work here mm. and then again I'll say that I've always said marriage is an empty vessel mm. what you put in there is what you get back mm. you put in a respect the man respects you back mm. you put in Obedience, the man obeys you. Mm -hmm. So that is the nature of marriage. You can never expect a man to give you a certain virtue that you have never mm -hmm. given it out. Mm -hmm. So you and your Natarajia Huko, the Zima Pia, we were Uku and I. And is before by the way, she went away, could not to say, Mom. Like me, Taka, like uh, a husband who can do this. I want a husband who can respect. I want a husband who can love me. I want a husband to do, eh? you know, those mm -hmm. things people say uh, they wanted a husband. But the thing is, you are saying, Lazima, if I want that, then Lazima ni learn saizi could live here. Uh -huh. Actually, uh, what I tell people. Mm -hmm. Don't tell him I want love. Mm -hmm. Show him love. Ah, he will love you back. So, so when you yes. pass when that point in a checklist, <laughs> attack a joy, attack a pain, go with it. Good. Go with it. Mm. Teach him mm. instead of telling him I want this and this. Mm. And that is also another way of respecting him. Mm. And any time you respect a man, mm. there is nothing you cannot get from that man. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So you have to train yourself to start respecting. Because, <laughs> you know, as single women who are... <laughs> Auntie. Only <laughs> Okay, Okay, so for us single ladies who have been so single single for so long, single for so long, mm -hmm. to Melan Kukua maybe independent and where's your commodity at Sasa says he pika. Oh <laughs> I don't care about independent ladies. <laughs> I remember there is this friend of mine, Andy Alinita, uh, Miss Independent. Uh, at one point, Ukingia kwa nyumba, you need to understand God's formula in marriage. Mm -hmm. As a woman, you are not called to dictate. You are called to help whoever is dictating things. Mm -hmm. Ikuwe ukona pesa mingi yaji, ikuwe ukona kazi mzuli yaji. Mm -hmm. The minute you get in that marriage, uko chini ya buwanako. Ata mm -hmm. kama anauza makana unadrive. Mm -hmm. He still remains to be the end of that the family. family. Mm -hmm. He is your husband. Mm -hmm. Lack of money cannot make him a lesser being. Mm -hmm. Maybe a medical condition cannot make that person a lesser being. Mm -hmm. In whichever condition they are in, you you need to submit to them to the letter. Apo hakuna soli ingine. You know, hakuna ile kitu mzuri kama tuseme saa hii bwanako ako hapo and that, by the way to be very sincere, me most of my friends ni men, hata nyinyi mnajua. Like 
wanakuanga na stress mingi sana. Mm. You can imagine huyu mtu ana asol anajaribu kuwa providea nyinyi wote za family. Huyu mm. mtu ako na stress, men are rough, the friends are rough. Mm. Maybe alitoka nje kuwataftia anjakuwa yes. lucky, then ameingia kwa nyumba. The deception you give that person mm. matters a lot. Mm. You are the only person who can mold, who can console your husband. Mm. So the way una you are the place where penya anaza pata peace. Good, that mm. is it. Vile mm. una treat matters a lot. Mm. And that is why I'm saying that the way you treat your man mm. determines your intimacy. Mm. Akijua una mdarau, of course atakuwa na imani mm. na wewe. You don't need to hold their hands in public calling them my baby mm. what not Sweetie. but your treatment yenye <laughs> unampatia mkiwa wawili <laughs> matters a lot mm. you need to be oh, the it's about the private time when when mko see it's not about the public when you yeah. nafanyia watu publicly yeah although still kuna mali tunafikanga tunasema mm. even when you are in public mm. the way you treat your the man public. matters a lot yeah. utaenda ukimgomba nishanga huko yeah. ah mm. it, by the way it's really long mm. like me ile kitu tu nimelan not only from my marriage but even from my friends who are malin mm. even from my parent mwanaume tu anatakanga mpatie heshima yake mm. we ukimpatia tu hiyo heshima yake mm-hmm. other things will flow mwanaume mm. akijua tu unamheshimu aezi atakudharau mm. they will even be proud of you mm. yeah so that is it me i have another question kuna hii <laughs> issue ya Ukikuwa sasa kama unataka kuolewa lazima ujue maombi wewe. Wewe kama tu wazi. Wewe ndonga tu wazi. Your marriage will sabotage. So let's tell us about the issue about prayer and you know you as a woman being spiritually awake before you get into marriage. Uh, I will say that in the first place the minute you prepare or you declare or you say that you are getting married hiyo ndio saa umeanza vita na shetani. Mm. So mm. actually <laughs> marriage is a spiritual battlefield. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because you know the devil will always try to fight marriage. Mm. Na ndio maana alienda kukuta if na matunda huko mm. ndio wakosane. Karibu <laughs> marriage kazi yake ni kuharibu. You know mm. as a woman we say that the man is the priest of the family mm. because he has been given authority by God mm. but again no priest will perform their duty alone mm. in exemption mm. they need these other people to come and support him like in the Catholic we have the altar boy the mm. blah blah mm. our to wengine mm. so as the woman you are the one who is in charge of the stealing the spiritual welfare mm. yes unaweza angukia uolewe na pastor but remember huyu <laughs> pastor amebeba mzigo wa cha lakini wewe kama mama you have a lot of being an intercessor mm. if you don't pray for your marriage yes kuna wale hawaombi na mambo inaenda vizuri mm. i think in such a case i'll put it like uh, shetani tu anakujua mm. najuana <laughs> Uko side moja sawa na muizani na shida na wewe but you know when you are spiritually awake mm-hmm. there are things that even god will reveal to you mm-hmm. sometimes you don't pray because you have problems mm-hmm. We pray because Mungu ametufanyia tu mambo makubwa. Mm. You know like we really want to respect this God tunataka kumuado. Mm. You know the closer you get to mm. God, the more revelation unapata na the more the heavens open for you. Mm. You get it. Mm. So yule mwenye aombi tu ako huko it's like yes they might be making progress wananunua magali nini nini manyumba but in the spiritual yam there is some stagnation mm. you get it but the minute you become prayerful there are grounds you move higher spiritually mm. Mm. unaenda mungu anakufunulia mambo mengi like you are praying for your man nowadays things are really very bad mm. anatokea tu anafungiwa jicho mm. you know <laughs> and even ndio aliendanga hivyo ndio anaendanga there are some people who will say that hata akienda as long as anirudie jioni mm. but get it that uh, to say why ukiwa the woman mm. unaomba you are putting a cover for that mm. man mm. like unamzingila ndi akitoka things are just mm. fine mm. so there is need andi watoto wako mm. you know we should not live in days that uh, 
we are too lazy to seek the face of God. Yaani mm. hatuna will ile will yoyote itatokea hiyo mm. ndio tu tutafuata being spiritually awake you you shape mm. you know there is the shaping of destiny there is the providing of the cover mambo ingine mungu anakulivilia mm. there are battles you can never fight na mdomo yako you just pray for your family mm. yeah so that is it it is really important do you have a question yeah i how i don't know but i feel like nowadays most marriages are prone to to easy bit with a cheating and that people get it comfortable when you say my oh bora akienda na rudi na provide for me yeah na ume si wa mama msichana ukitoka ni wako akiwa kwa nyumba akitoka ni wa umati okay ni a community it's a community community has been so as in i don't how do how do you keep that in check what am i what you do you think is mari as as a as a woman is is it okay for for a man to have another wife or is it okay for them to go out cheating yeah and how would how how as, as a woman a, how as would a you spiritual do? yeah mm. as a good spiritual wife what 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 would you do if that um we are talking about preparing yourself for marriage mm-hmm. and uh, this is the same as the courting period and the dating period mm. the things that you need to do mm. We say one of the things or one of the reason why this period is very important mm. is because we are supposed to be learning each other. Mm. It gives you the time to learn this man. Mm. Unajua familia yao iko haji. Labda unaenda unapata your mother-in-law ni wife number 3, mm. wife number 4. Anakwambia like maiguka kwa hivi, unaenda kwa brother yake anakwambia huyu ni bibi wa pili wako mm. na yeye. Mm-hmm. On the spiritual awakeness you get to know you are getting married to a person mwenye amefuata amefuatwa na spirit ya polygamy. Mm. Unajiuliza am I comfortable to live with this man? Mm. Yes, nampenda, nitamsaidiaje? You pray about that issue. Unamwombea, unamseparate from it. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not comfortable with that issue. And uh, remember we are saying that in prayers we fight battles. Mm. Prayer in one side it is like a weapon. The minute unajua vile yako hata ukiamua utokea huyo you are wife mke mwenza. Labda ndi ni mtu mwenye ni don't care hata kutukana tuta mzima. <laughs> but what you can <laughs> do is <laughs> nowadays <laughs> yeah by <laughs> the way they people don't care people are calling themselves presidents of second wives people don't care nowadays mm-hmm. that. so it, it is important to pray sometimes prayer prayers are not instant but one thing that we are sure of is that god hears and god answers and then when you realize that it's a problem with this man mm. pray in a focused way mm. unajua sasa rona gongana nayo hapa ni ilo ya porigami mm. pray about it talk with that man one thing that i can tell you is that god created one man one woman mm. so the plan the purpose of god is monogamy mm. marriage not polygamy marriage mm. go with that verse there's what we call praying with the verse mm. ombea huyo bwana yako mm. ya kwamba mungu atamridhi mm. one day one time utapata tu amenyekea mm. but we should not take comfort na vitu zenye azitufurahishi things that then? don't exist mm. take the mantle aijalishi itachukua siku ngapi Pray, pray without ceasing you mm. know that is all the bible tells mm. us ombea huyu mtu na atabandilika na usifike mahali uamue kuchukua revenge mm. two wrongs will never make <laughs> by the way yeah. that i i find two things will never make and the other time will end nienda inje nitafute so ukienda nyinyi wote nani atasaidia atabaki anaenda huko anaokota maroa huko na wewe unaokota mnazungumza combination kwa kwa vietnam and by the way men will feel comfortable and cheating <laughs> but they will kill you when they find you cheating okay. so they, they are very jealous mm. probably yes mm. more than us i, I always, and I always think and by the way that ladies are more jealous <laughs> <laughs> one thing you see when a lady decides that they want to cheat 
amkangi hivi sio kama mwanamume you know for a man anakuanga impressed by what they mm. see yeah. so anaweza toka asubuhi ategwe achi akiona tu kitu hivi anaanguka tu akati but for a woman you have to think yeah mwanamke you have kitambo afikilie sasa afike mm. your point yani afikilie amefikilia sana mm. au ikuwe ana fight with some alters kwa maisha yake mm. alters zinamwambia cheat mm. do this and this do this and this mm. Mm. Well, as we wind up into my last question maybe sasa i blend it amaza kama tuko na question nyingine but this is one is my last one kuna vanya sasa sisi like uh, unapatanga like a woman ako na character yenye si mzuri Mhm. Bi character yake ni ya akiamka asubuhi maybe yeye apendi kufanya kazi ya tol. Mm-hmm. Ama ako na character nyingine yenye yeye anaangeleshanga watu vibaya. Mhm. Ama anafanyanga vitu. Kuna character tu wako nayo mbaya. Eh. Uh, <laughs> dictator has kizangi watu wakuna watu wasi. Paka wazazi wake wanamvumilia aende olewe aondoke. Mbona kitu mbaya. So, I'm about to prepare agent to deal with these characters. Do you not going to open up with that rehab and end our marriage? <laughs> So mbona hapa afaje aji prepare aji hapo ongelesha kwa sababu watu hawataki kudeal na hizo karakter mbaya I think kwa karakter mbaya bo the journey begins <laughs> with <laughs> identifying that niko na shinda mm. so kitu ya kwanza elewa we uko na shinda mm. kitu ya pili jiulize nitasaidika aji mm. like tuseme nimezoea kila saa i'm biting my finger mm. i'm biting my finger or i'm circling my finger mm. the minute nitajua ita accept hii ni kitu mbaya mm. ile saa nitakuwa tu naenda kupeleka hivi nasikia ka guilt flow there is a guilt mm. that is inside you mm. inakwambia hiyo lazima ubandilishe mm. somebody said that beauty can take you to the palace mm. to the state house mm. but it takes character mm. kukaa huko mm. if you don't work on your character my friend au ta maintain huyo mtu so mm. it is a personal decision i want to change hata tuseme uende kwa counselor tuseme uende wapi uombewe mm. au tawai bandilika so it is a personal initiative and just like we have said the man will remain to be the head of the family that is the biggest preparation you can ever mm. make for marriage mm. you prepare yourself i'm getting in that marriage not as the boss but as the person who is second in command mm. any time when you want to rise to be first in command aitakuwa inafaulu ndio mm. unaona siku hizi watu wengi sana wanateseka mm. even the in laws are coming in mm-hmm. eti unakalia kijana yetu kwa sababu you want to change the plan of god mm-hmm. man to be the end actually the book of ephesians tells us Men are commanded to love their mm. wives mm-hmm. just as Christ loved the church mm-hmm. and for you women submit. you need to submit to your <laughs> and I was husband. told by the it's Now, hard. Mm. Inasema, mm. children obey, obey your, your parents. parents. Mm. So the Bible gives us a very really good guideline. Mm. Men love, love you. Women submit, submit. children obey. obey. Mm. Simple. Mm. I was listening to someone work. who was saying that Uh, um, for a man to love you it's hard and that's mm-hmm. why it's it's hard that's mm-hmm. why unaona bibo iliandika juu inajua ni ngumu and for a woman to submit ndio mtu akikwambia ati atifanya hivi unasikia hii kitu yenyewe anasema unaambi uko na pesa zako za kuenda Dubai anakwambia hapana una submit usifanye hivi like usiende guilt kuna mama wana nanga guilt wanakuja saa mbili za usiku anakwambia submit it's hard but i guess we just have to commit ourselves to go that at us idea to pay grace ya kufanya hivyo because for men to love it's not easy for women to submit it's not easy for you don't even to obey and ask to us to obey so it's it's not because it's not because they are easy it's because they are hard that's why they are mandiko hapo ndo mungu mwenyewe tu akusaidia yeye ndo anasaidia yeah so i don't know if you have anything yeah. else to to add i, I have a question mm-hmm. yeah yeah i do me miss here i hear most people at i have guys who are friends and also they tell me but i don't know why wanawake wakishaolewa they tend to spend more time at church mm. praying and praying mm-hmm. i don't know i feel like most other size kama sisi kama watu kitambo uko na mako sande kifika mapema na watarisha nyote mnaenda kanisa if your dad is prayerful 
for those who are when you are up pamoja that is okay kuna wengine maybe unatoka mapema unataka kumepika chai mm-hmm. umeka kila kitu umeka hapo you go to church then come back ama unatoka unatoka church kuna ilikuwa inaitwa women inaitwa women's guild, guild. after guild mm-hmm. unaenda worship fellowship, uh, fellowship mm-hmm. and then you come back at seven i ama kama when you so those are not that ladies that are not prayerful kama ni sat sunday that you get your time off unaamua kwenda like oh to your friends i don't know i feel like is that okay ama are we supposed to maintain is there a balance between also you also accommodating a person mm-hmm. another person any It's balance only, between you know your time you are, out and yeah. now the time of your husband is a late Ooh, and the disappointment <laughs> so that's a topic about that's that about because that. i've seen men hey. my dad used to get angry there's a time my mom was told my dad said that i could take a long time because every time my mom would go out or is come to the kanisa atakuja kama amechelewa so i had to cook for my dad so my mom was like but then my friend also told me the same thing yeah, that, I, i always find it always <laughs> that struggle so, i'm kama mmeona to the first Few years. And I have know. a friend mm. when you're Lioana. I love you know that time when you some come as your sato in the party in the party. But they're going in a party. I love you come no sato you're like should they leave him? I want to end and share and like into and share and my girls my ladies mm. because I'm a do so have to change what you think. Maybe the other ladies who who go for for them see a kanisa for mom's fortunately ilikuwa kanisa. Yeah. For others <laughs> unfortunately ilikuwa kwenda ma parties, parties yeah. out when our places saturday i'm a traveling i'm a traveling so sita ndio anakuja na bwana yake yako hapo so ebu briefly tu tuambie how to bal mtu anafaa ku prepare ku balance i'm aware where is it okay acceptable mm. to what point i think nilianzia na kusema mm. marriage begins with the living mm. you know parting mm. parting ways with some things mm. Um I'll say it in this way I'll put it in this way Um there's something we call the social life of a person mm. You cannot share the social life of a person unless we are sharing common factors in the social life So kuna social life yako Na hii social life ni important it keeps you moving you know like mm. you go unacheka na marafiki zako nini nini mm. you know you feel the strength sometimes marriages have challenges kwa hii social life ndio tunaendanga we share mimi mm. nimepitia hii mimi nimepitia hivyo tunapungukiwa na Una, yeah. mm. so uh, what i will say is that kitu ya kwanza you need to understand the person you are with mm. ujue anapendanga nini na apendi nini akiwa kwa nyumba anataka ngaji isikuwe like wanako amekuwa kazi from monday to saturday anakuanga tu na kwa nyumba on sunday na hiyo sunday ndio nataka kwenda hiyo i make sense mm. it needs you yeah. to be there mm. that is number one. number two, kuna hii sponde nyingine there is another group iko hapa si eti yako busy lakini ni yule atakangi tu bibi yake atoke ataki achanganyike mm. na watu oh my god the ones who are very controlling yeah the very controlling i used to call them when i was a uh, like a girl before ni yoleke i used to say that wana mwa kuwekea mtu per limit au like hapa usivuke hapa utoki hiyo nayo ni mbaya it is bad because you find that most of the time huyu mtu ako na kasoro mahali mm. ako na tutabia huko nje so mm. one of the reasons ataki utoke ju ataki mjua. uende umjue that is number one. Mm. that is why they will be like usi 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 mm. Mm. number two, there is always room for communication ongeni mm. open your heart you don't mm. and you know something else which is key to a successful marriage is communication. Ongea na huyu mtu, muulizane, let them know. Kama ni chama inakujanga once a month, mm-hmm. akue anajua once a month I will be out. Na we ukienda out don't be out forever. Mpaka mm-hmm. saa sita. Enda out <laughs> kama mtu mwenye ameacha bwana kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. I will tell you one thing every now and then. A man behaves like a baby. Mm-hmm. He always wants attention. 
anataka tu ukae ukizunguka zunguka ukizunguka zunguka yule anaona anaona tu around ukizunguka anataka kaawa mm. later anataka maji you know mm. that is what they want mm. so anytime they are prepared psychologically that they will have you move around the house mm. and then you are there unataka kwenda even if they don't tell you atasikia ko pissed off and it might lead to this man going out mm. mbona ataka aone wakati napatikana huyu mtu apatikani like mm. they don't have my time mm. so talk with him mm. ambia neni rongla miko hivi na hivi tena wewe as a woman ni wewe unajua do you value the girl's quant mm-hmm. or do you value your, <laughs> your husband mm-hmm. we say that you give a sacrifice to that which you value mm. if you value your marriage then you will sacrifice his or as a wasichana mm. for the sake of your mm. of your man mm. then kama umeolewa put a what do I should I call it put a boundary mm. tabia zako mm. wewe umeolewa na tabia zako wewe haujaolewa mm. kama umeamua kuolewa ondoka kwa wasichana acha wasichana vitu zake mm. go build your marriage mm. hii mambo mengine akukaa kuyumba yumba eti unajua sijui kuna yes kuna hizo mapateza kama wale watu tulimaliza shule na wao lakini mm. sio every saturday every monday mm. naenda bash naenda nini then kuna hii nyingine ya church like wale wa kuenda kanisa sana mm. my friend <laughs> mungu akikupatia mwanaume mm. alijua mtaishi kwa kanisa na huyu mwanaume mm. <laughs> need to strike a balance bwana yeah. mwanaume anahitaji attention mm. remember god is telling you mm. you submit to this man yeah. utasubmit sangapi ukiwa unaenda maombi unatoka saa 3 mm. ya usiku mm. your man needs a bit 